Hey everyone, welcome back to The Last of Us Remastered, Left Behind DLC. Alright, so we left the last part off by following um, Riley, which is Ellie's friend, into the shopping mall. After hours, after Ellie's curfew with the, um, the, the all the soldiers and all that. So she's got something to show us, and we're going to go see what that is. I can't believe Winston's gone. You heard? Yeah. Do you know how it happened? They said he just fell off his horse. Heart attack or something. Man. Well, how many people get to die of natural causes in this world? None that I know of. Exactly. So, let's see what he left us. Really? Okay, so there's a guy called Winston that's just died recently. My heart's dark. I'm guessing this was this is where he lived in this little hut. What? Is this Winston? <laughs> Man, guy used to be handsome. Bingo. Want some? It's just alcohol. I'm actually going to reject that because Ellie's only like 14 and also you don't want to be drinking too much alcohol or any really. Reject. More for me. Cheers, Winston. <laughs> Ooh. That's <laughs> strong. Come on. Call me boring, but I'm not much of an alcohol person anyway in real life. So that probably aids towards why I um, said no to that. Okay, we've got a um, lot to look at here. What happened to Princess? I assumed after Winston died, they took her. Poor horse. She's probably out there terrified. Man. So much of this Winston guy was actually a part of what the government is, you know, the protection of it. Maybe he was just living on his own. Did they allow that? I'm not even sure. Probably had no family. This is still a, it's a pretty big mess this place so this is this um, in relation to the main story this part is just before the main story really Ellie help me lift this yeah you go first go ahead you know what? <laughs> How about we find another way? Yeah. <sighs> Sounds good. We don't actually know where we're going. We're just following Riley. So we're going to find another way. And there's an open window up there. Let's take this route. Hey, Riley. You know what? I'll get you up and over. See if you can unlock it from the inside. Good call. <sighs> Well, you see anything? Riley? There we go, she's unlocked it. Oh, it's a Halloween shop. <laughs> you dick, there's two times today. <laughs> How the hell did we never find this place? Come on, I got the perfect mask for you. Riley, perfect. Check it out. What is that, like a wolf man or something? Put it on. <sighs> so stupid. <laughs> yeah, bad ass. Now for it. <sighs> roar. Ellie, really? Fucking roar. Okay, spam triangle to do a big roar. Oh my god. Track and field day is coming back to me. <laughs> there she is. Now let's see what else this place has. Ellie is like not as much of a rebel as Riley is. You can kind of tell how like Riley is all about having fun and being like naughty and getting up to crazy stuff. But Ellie is just kind of like, oh, should we be doing this? I'm not feeling too comfortable. Like um, being. Out of bounds. 
So we've got a little name. Um, what's this? Skel Skelisir. Ask Skelisir a question and shake for your fortune. Ask Skelisir a question and shake for your fortune. Okay. Are we gonna die today? Nothing. What a jip. You gotta turn it over, genius. Oh. <laughs> Seems dreadfully unlikely. Ah, whew, what a relief. It's like a magic eight ball, isn't it? We can do it again. Ask a different question this time. Will I drive a car again? Again? She's driven before. I feel it in my bones. Alright. <laughs> So yeah, we have actually driven a car again when we played with um, Bill and she got to drive that car, the new car that we found. Am I ever going to get to play a video game? Your chances are dismal. Fuck you, Skull. <laughs> well, we can ask a, a whole lot more questions, but we're going to leave that there for now because I don't want to spend too much time looking into these questions. We got another mask here we can try on. Ah, oh, triple phoenix. What do you think? No. Adorable. <laughs> Why, thank you, kind pigeon. <laughs> that looks creepy as hell. <laughs> it's like nightmares are made of. So as you can pretty much see. Playing this section, we playing as Ellie with Riley is no combat. It's all about Ditch developing their the characters and their friendship. We can just inspect a few things and see how they react. What's this? People bought this stuff. <laughs> I don't get it. Funny how different you see things when you're not influenced. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> if Elliot um, encountered a lot more infected before now, she probably would have killed Riley by now with her instincts of just like being fuck, That's something's gonna attack me. Cooler. So we've got more masks we can check out. We're gonna actually get one more mask and let's see which, what the choices are. Vampires are like my thing. What's this? Oh, she's putting a vampire mask on. Okay, so we've got another mask we can put on here. We're gonna put on this one. I am Count Dracula. Actually, Countess. I am Countess Dracula. Yeah. <laughs> We've actually got some costumes here as well. We've got a Uncharted one. That's pretty cool. Little Ninja. Oh, no, Elite Ninja, excuse me. Werewolf. Grim Reaper. It's kind of cool that they've had... Oh, look, Jack and Dexter. So they've added their old games into um, costumes on the shelves, that's pretty cool. Um, so we're going to put on one more mask and then we're going to get out of here because we've spent quite a bit of time in here now, playing around. And Ellie's flashlight's running out as we're doing this. We can actually shake it now, that's fine. So we're now pretty much a creepy witch. <laughs> Oh my, Toto, what will we do? <laughs> oh man. It's the Wizard of Oz, that isn't it? Tutu's the dog, I think. So we're gonna, can we get out now? Yeah, let's get out of here. Ah, I got an idea. See those cars down there? Yeah. Red one's yours, I'll be blue. We throw bricks. Whoever breaks all the windows to their car, wins. Are you kidding me? I'm like the brick master. <laughs> all right. Loser has to answer a question. No sarcasm. <laughs> what is this, truth or truth? All right, fool, you're on. So I'm red. Shit, she's starting. Okay, so you gotta smash all the windows and also find bricks. There's a brick there. Let's smash the sunroof while we're here. Give me a brick, give me a brick, give me a brick. Okay, we can't find any bricks. There we go. Hopefully these respawn, because there's not a lot of bricks about. Uh -huh. Yeah, you like that? 
There's a brick there. So this is like a pretty cool way to introduce bricks to Ellie. No wonder she's so good at throwing them at enemies. So we've got one more on the left hand side I think, the front window. So we're going to get rid of that before we go around the other side. Bam. All right. Look, we've got two more windows left to do. And of course, Ellie claims to be the brick master, so we've got to do her justice. Oh, shit, I missed. Still got two windows left to do. Let's go around the side a bit more so we can get a better angle. I am red, aren't I? Hope I am. Got one more. I think uh, um, Riley's one behind me as well. Yeah! Rick fucking master! My car had tougher windows. Yeah, whatever, loser. Alright, question time. I'm scared. So we get to ask a question. Why did you leave? Why did you lash out? Did Marlene mention my mum? Forget it. Let's ask about Ellie's mum. That's one of the things we don't know about Ellie. So... What does Marlene say about my mom? Not much. I gathered that they were friends even before the outbreak. Oh, and she said your mom was a nurse. A nurse? Apparently they like argued and fought a lot, but they were close. Sound familiar? <laughs> right. Come on, let me show you this thing. We're almost there. I want my mask back. She took her mask off. Uh -huh. So we still haven't found the thing that Riley wants to show us. Although we have now, we are having a bit of quite a bit of fun messing around with bricks and um, silly masks. What are we doing here? The place is creeping me out. So, you know how we thought they only powered certain areas of the city? Yeah. Follow me. keep kind of like looking in the corners to scavenge stuff because I'm so used to playing as Joel and having to craft stuff to, to fight. So, turns out, the whole city has power. They just flip the circuit breakers. All you gotta do is flip it back. There's no way this is gonna work. <laughs> What did I tell you? <laughs> Wait, so the whole mall is lit up? Let's go find out. How is this still working after 20 years? I'm sure they haven't got a maintenance guy. All the lights would have stopped working by now, and I'm sure some fuses would have blown. After 20 years? Come on. You ready to see this? Wait, I... I know what you're trying to do. And... I'm really glad that you're not dead. I mean, I'm glad that we're back together and- I didn't mean it. All that stuff I said before I left. I didn't mean any of it. Riley, you're such a sap. <laughs> Bet you started it. <laughs> Oh man. Are you ready? Totally. <laughs> Are you kidding? Okay, so before we actually see what Riley wants to show us right there, we're jumping back over to um, Ellie finding supplies for Joel. So we've jumped down from up that ledge up there, and we're gonna have to try and try and get back up, back up there, and get the helicopter. So, of course, again, we can actually scavenge stuff now as Ellie, because there is gonna be enemies around. So we've got a button to press. There's no power. Thank you, military. Any way to get this on? Follow the cables, Rachel. So beyond that cage door is an escalator that leads straight to the helicopter. So follow the cables. Where's the cables going? Goes through here, connects to this. Then it goes through here. Let's turn the flashlight on. Is this the same mall that Ellie and Riley are in, in the other section? Oh. God. Fucking cat. That cat looks real, doesn't it? 
I've done a good job there making a cat seem real. <laughs> um, let's go for this side. Actually, before we do carry on, I'm not expecting to go. Oh my God, it's freezing. Yeah, it's a bit cold. It's gonna. I think that might be the way we have to go afterwards, but we need to go in here first, possibly. I'm not sure. Come on. Yeah. All right. I was right. So we got to go this way first. We have to go around the door. Jesus! Are you trying to kill me? Here we go. End of the line. So it looks like the delivery part of the mall where the trucks come in and drop off all this stock. So we've got a um hang on, what have we got? What have we got? We've got a generator here. I'm guessing it's not gonna work. It'd be too easy, wouldn't it? Nothing. Out of juice. Damn it. There's a note here. Generator note. This could, this could be handy. So, Private Ellis has taken a turn for the worse. He's burning up and he couldn't keep any of his food down. Maybe I made a mistake. Maybe the amputation, amputation was too late. Maybe when I'm not watching him, he'll turn and... The infection protocol, we did what we had to do to Officer Caulfield. We... Why does it keep cutting off? Who the hell am I kidding? We murdered Larry. Ellis held him down while I shot him like a fucking dog. I can't get his screams out of my head. Regan, please, I still have time. Don't do this. Ellis, what have we done? What if I just if I just leave? What if I just make a run for it? I'm sorry, Ellis. So, the guy kind of made a tough choice there in killing his buddy. And we've got a, um, what have we got here? We need to find some gas, um, some fuel for the generator. Empty. Maybe I can find some. So there's plenty of trucks around here, so maybe we can siphon some fuel out of these trucks. And we're going to actually do that, guys, in the next part. We're going to end it here and start off the next part, checking out these trucks, see if we can find some fuel. Alright, everyone, see you in the next part. Bye!